Welcome to Excel Med Trick number 1183. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have some menu items, meatballs, soup, dash, and then a bunch of text, kale and beet salad, a dash, and a bunch of text. And we need to remove all the text after the dash. Now, if you have 2013, you simply go to Data and Flash Fill, one of the more amazing features that Microsoft has invented and put inside of Excel. Notice the keyboard is Control-E. Now, we'll see first how to do it with Flash Fill, and then we'll see a couple of older traditional ways. All I'm going to do is type Meatball space Soup. And if I spelled it all right, when I hit Enter and then type the first letter of the next item, Flash Fill gives me this drop down. I simply hit Enter to accept it. Are you kidding me? That is amazing. Look at that. Man, I want to get that grape and grapefruit drink. Not only that, but it'll work not just with dashes, of course. But if we do meatball and soup, It'll have no problem with the period, but this time I'm going to hit Enter and then Control E, and instantly that invokes Flash Fill. So I can drag this over here. Now, of course, Flash Fill is the way to go for simple text manipulation like this. If you didn't have 2013, you could use Text to Columns. We go up to Data, Text to Columns right there, or Alt A E delimited because we have a character that's going to separate the two columns. Next, I come over here. I already put a, a period here, but when I type the period, you could see it sure enough gives me a preview down there. Next, and we want to make sure that for the second column, we're going to skip. Boop. And I want to keep the original, so I'm going to click this drop down and say place it right right there in H18, uncollapse and finish. And just like that, I have my meatball soup and my grape and grapefruit drink. Now, if you wanted this dynamic, then none of those methods are dynamic. But we could certainly use a formula. Now, get this. It is all of the text to the left of a space and a dash. So I'm going to use the left function and say, hey, text. I need the text from that cell comma. And now this is a variable number of characters, so we'll use the search function. The search tab can find some text in double quotes. Double quotes, space, dash, and double quotes. So that's the text it's going to find, comma, within what text? Within this. And guess what? Search will return the actual position, counting from left to right. So it will be right where that space is. If I were to highlight this and F9 to evaluate it, it's the 14th position. That'll be one too many. It'll give me a space. So Control Z, I want to subtract one. Close parentheses, and that will work all the way down. Now notice I highlighted this all in advance. So when I Control Enter, it will populate whatever's in edit mode all the way down. Control Enter and it copies all the way down. Now, the whole point of doing it as a formula, of course, is if this were going to be dynamic. So I would type bun-fun, and instantly that bun would be extracted. Control-Z. If you wanted to take this formula result and paste it as text, we could point to the edge. And instead of left-clicking, I'm going to right-click. That cursor right there is the move. That's the selection cursor. That's the move cursor. I'm going to right-click and drag with my move cursor. And when I get it over here, I'm going to let go of my right-click, and up pops this hidden menu. I'm going to say copy here as values only, and instantly I have text only. So we can use left and search. We can go ahead and use text to columns, but oh my heavens, amazing data, flash fill in 2013 or later. All right, we'll see you next trick.